welcome to the history of Mock the Week Part 1, where we go all the way back to the very beginning. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, answer is 50 nights. What is the question? Is it uh, how much of a start was Stephen Hawking given at this year's London Marathon? <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Is it how many light shifts would you have to do at B and Q before you came to dismiss life as a grotesque pantomime? <laughs> <laughs> Is it how long would it take Nick Park to film a Wallace and Gromit porno? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Only working at night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the number of nights that Michael Jackson was going to play the O2 Arena? It is, of course, absolutely. Thank you very much, Danny. There's news that the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, is dead. The 50-year-old star died suddenly following a cardiac arrest and was just weeks away from his This Is It tour in London. His death has left millions of fans in mourning. <laughs> One devastated fan said, I was at Disneyland when I heard he died. I didn't want to believe it. It was only when Mickey Mouse confirmed <laughs> it to me that I accepted it. I mean, what black man can produce three white kids? It's amazing. <laughs> You've got a better chance of being their, their dad than my boy. Wow. <laughs> You're right, no <laughs> if, if that is the case, they're in real trouble. Well, yeah. <laughs> a choice between Michael and Frankie. Sorry, kids, a bit of a change of location for you. You're going to live with Uncle Frankie now. <laughs> <laughs> what, well, after staying with Michael Jackson? <laughs> it's all got to be up from there, hasn't it? <laughs> You know, they said they'd had thousands of volunteers to be pallbearers at Michael Jackson's funeral. I bet they'd. Where were they when Barry White died? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the weirdest thing about Michael Jackson? I didn't even know this. He was a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the least weird thing about him. I bet, I bet when he went to the Jehovah's Witness meetings, they pretended not to be in. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, turn the telly down. <laughs> um, there's just a small note from the Fucking desk dead. that I get into my ear. Um, Frankie, uh, Hugh, <laughs> if we could have stuff which we actually can broadcast. <laughs> uh, <that> would... <laughs> Nobody mentioned that. <laughs> I think that should be, that should be the anti-speeding advert. It should be footage of Richard Hammond trying to remember his own wedding day. <laughs> reference to him. <laughs> There's a line in the sand, right? And you can't even Frankie see the line did. in the sand. <laughs> the way you three, are, particularly like that, they look like the evolution of man. <laughs> they could be walking like that. We'll have to turn that way. <laughs> <laughs> But we are apparently in the middle of a countryside <laughs> crime wave. Have you seen this? Some bloke <laughs> sold rhubarb from an allotment. You oh, they should tag it. Just Why imagine, they tag it? But imagine the phone call. Just some deranged. They've taken it. It's gone. <laughs> My prize winning marrow. Is there no god? You have. <laughs> surely you surely have could to just put so rhubarb down his sleeves well, and then go. You can't ever feel sorry for the... That's the lowest rung but, of criminality, but, isn't but it? Do you know what I mean? Just... I'm going to kill myself here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so it's 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 oh, oh, oh! Beautiful. Vintage Mock the Week. He brought up the subject yeah, just so someone else could do a joke on yeah, it. Yeah. Surely he might have been working towards a punchline. <laughs> you ignorant... <laughs> chair for the joke umpire. <laughs> I have a feeling the Microsoft paperclip's taking some cocaine. But... <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Well, that's that's a great little animation of the cable going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> that's a really good letter. Uh, <laughs> the point I was going to make is, um, surely, right, <laughs> fellas, <laughs> but surely, if you're a bank robber, you're sexy, you're dangerous, you can get diamonds for your lover. If you steal from allotments, what hope have you got, you know? <laughs> You've got dirt underneath your fingernails. All you have to offer is broccoli. Uh, you know? <laughs> hey, a woman who's going to have sex for broccoli is going to be dotty. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering 
one of the reasons quite they healthy. were trying to split up. <laughs> wouldn't that be, hang on, sorry to interrupt you, Andy, but wouldn't that be the... <laughs> the... <laughs> Hello, I worry! worry. I, I, I wish to go on the record and say I have now lost control. Uh, <laughs> it's saying, weren't they, that Hurricane Katrina was jumped down to... I'll start that again. <laughs> what were they I've saying, got goo. I've got goo all over my face. <laughs> what? Not the first oh, time either. Don't say that, mate. Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think I look like Piers Brosnan with a mouthful of sweets? <laughs> End the week that Osama Bin Laden released. Ah, for yeah. fuck's sake! <laughs> More of that later, mock the week. <laughs> I foiled him Who by throwing a banana at him. Who <laughs> throws a banana at somebody? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all kind of knocked on from America, isn't it? The, the problem it is essentially, there. yeah. Because there's two companies that are in trouble. There was an amazing headline the other day that said Fannie Mae in trouble. And the two largest Hang financial on. institutions in America are Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They're but shorthand the for the Federal National Mortgage Corporation and the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation. When I read the headline Fannie Mae Collapse, I thought Kerry Katona was pregnant again. <laughs> 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 Dear Deirdre, can that giant man lift me up like a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you bet your asses, Dan. <laughs> OK, that leaves us with Andy and Frankie. Let's have another topic. The topic is Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I have this covered. <laughs> Is that your image of Scotland? <laughs> you know that that's three English blokes at a wedding? <laughs> Do you remember years ago when they were making Braveheart, everyone said, oh, it's ridiculous, Mel Gibson playing a Scottish guy. That's not going to be very convincing. And look at him now, an alcoholic racist. <laughs> The most Scottish thing I've ever seen. I was going through a town called Bathgate at about half past 11 at night, and there was a guy pissing <laughs> against the front door. <laughs> he then took out his keys and went inside. <laughs> Thank you all, well, and, uh... oh, It's not going to be worth it now, is it? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> On travel news, uh, of, the, of the greatest travel story of the week was Tina the tortoise. Uh, Tina the tortoise <laughs> lost a leg, so they attached uh, a rear wheel to the back of Tina's shell. To be honest, it's going to make fuck all difference uh. to that tortoise. <laughs> Said they doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> it barely moves anyway. They're going to put it in a box at Christmas and it'll die. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Frankie, for steamrolling our gentle whimsy <laughs> there. For <laughs> taking our sweet little commentary about <laughs> Tina and how this has changed her life and just going, Tina will die like the rest of us. <laughs> Tortoises don't hibernate, they live to one. <laughs> Basically, it's what I've discovered. Really? Well, he's going by Blue Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Does this mean, though, if when the parents accidentally Tina dies, right? <laughs> do they have to go to a pet shop, yeah. buy a similar-looking tortoise, <laughs> get rid of the yeah. leg, <laughs> stick another wheel in the corner? Just get a show pet next season, right? Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, it'll die in the middle of episode one. <laughs> Miss Fat Ankle 2006. <laughs> <laughs> I love you lots. Oh, let's see what Mr. Tiddles thinks of you. What do you think? Die, bitch! <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is amnesia? Is it A, memory loss? A, Memory loss, <laughs> or for the Battle of Hastings. Welcome to my Dalek poetry reading. 
This one is called daffodils. <laughs> What is amnesia? Is it A, <laughs> memory loss? I think the question everyone wants is, get your foot out, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 got it. Adam, have you ever put beer in your foot and drunk out of it? <laughs> yes. <No>? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Adam, for what could have ascended into freak show territory, but you held it together <laughs> with an enormous amount of dignity, as we basically said, show us the weird thing! <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is things that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Ignore the banging! She's been in there for 24 years! <laughs> Help yourself to Nibbles. He was our favourite hamster, but it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Are you sure this is pork? <laughs> it's just because Mike Crackling has a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we don't say grace. We just sacrifice a child to the great god Imhotep. <laughs> <laughs> Doorbell! Excellent, that'll be Heather Mills and James Blunt. Opie's brought his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I hope nobody's allergic to nuts, because I like to rest mine on the table. <laughs> This is absolutely lovely. I say we all raise a glass to the floor! <laughs> <laughs> Ten of you arrived, only one will leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, after about two hours, you couldn't tell what was poo and what was chocolate. <laughs> There is a vegetarian option. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we can put that in the middle. Guys, what are we doing making a Christmas album when we could clean up with a calendar? October. Is that Daryl looting hay bales in October? You don't Drew, just, what are you doing? You don't give up the nipple. No. You don't show yeah. the nipple. That's the duty. You've got to hold that back. I'll let you in the secret. I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> Do it some more. Do it some more. Anti clockwise, anti clockwise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> January, Betsy. <laughs> Where will you be? Will you be like, you know, sitting behind a piano or something? Or maybe, you know, what? I'll well, be on top what? of the piano like the fabulous Baker boys. <laughs> Yeah. That's what you I, I see. I see Dara as a as a sort of a farm hand. Just, just <laughs> logs everywhere. Just loads of girls going. Yeah. <gasps> or it could be very artistic. It could be very artistic. It could be like uh, Munch's the Scream, and it's just you completely <laughs> naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this album. Thank you, Thank you very very much. In a kind of a. Is that my cock out? Oh! <laughs> Here, on a bridge in Norway? <laughs> Merry Christmas, <Okay>. everybody! <laughs> To replay of it. it was a lovely moment. I think you've... I, I just remembered something. But show uh, them what you did, it was I fantastic. Went, you went... Like that, and then went like that, <laughs> and you were talking. Did I really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, I do that kind of thing yeah, the whole great. time. That's entirely me. Do it again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bath time arse disaster? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Again, another yes. video. I have to say, the answer I was looking for was bath time arse disaster. <laughs> you suppose a flu buddy that you've got to pair up with somebody and they'll deliver the injection to you if, if, if needs be. Exactly, right? yeah. but if it was my mates, they'd just pop a bit of Viagra in or something like that. Hey, you're going to die, have some donuts, have some fun. Swing <laughs> <laughs> it on yourself, see how many you can get. get. Donuts? With see how many you can get. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You, you're so I'll be there, I'm nearly dying, the and I'm flinging them gently on Ring donuts, not jam donuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, a beast. But what is he paying them? It's like this. Oh, like God. Why? It's how we're Because I'm nearly it. dead, Frankie. Can I not have some fun? <laughs> Find that woman, leave the pastries alone. <laughs>
<laughs> traffic is things you wouldn't hear on Songs of Praise. Hello, Canterbury. Let's make some fucking noise. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's any number of these. The Labour leader, Ed Miller Band, has complained previously that he's been referred to on the subtitling as the Ed Miller Band. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers were so surprised to see that the famous religious leader visiting a local town was, in fact, the Arch Bitch of Canterbury. <laughs> it's, it's, ooh, call this a church? I don't think so. <laughs> I saw that one come up. <laughs> this is a power move, plunging. Like, look how you feel now. We're kind of having an argument. What about now? <laughs> <laughs> I used to farm cats, and let me tell you, their eggs don't taste nearly as chocolatey as they look. <laughs> This will never work, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> OK, John's story struck me during the week. This, you, may, you may not have seen one. It was a story in Ireland in the Evening Herald in Dublin last week. And it's quite a, quite a moving story. It's about Alzheimer's disease. Oh. Uh, it was, yeah. And the story basically was being a big head may be good for you. Scientists found that large-headed individuals with Alzheimer's have better memory and thinking skills than sufferers with small heads, all of which is... <laughs> is quite interesting. You see, the next paragraph I found difficult to take. People with larger than average heads, like comedians, <laughs> are all <great. laughs> appear, to be, appear to be better protected if they develop Alzheimer's disease, as studies suggest. Now, that would be all right if it wasn't for that. Like, the article actually came with a giant photograph of me <laughs> next to the article. <laughs> Under the word big head, have protected as I can. Written underneath that, written underneath that was extra large colon. <laughs> Report is good news for Dara Maria. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not good news because I suddenly realise I've got a big head of her. What do you mean you've suddenly Protect us from the Alzheimer's. <laughs> Back in Canada, I did some modeling. It was for medical, it was for a <laughs> penile dysfunction. It was a before and after picture. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I, 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 I didn't model. I don't model for big head <laughs> I don't regard myself as having a large head. I don't have difficulty buying hats. Uh, I don't have difficulty getting into jumpers. Uh, it is, my Sorry. head is no, cost me no... When did those three no guys get here? <laughs> Look at me. I'm going to take you to a hall of mirrors and show you how you should look. <laughs> the kid from Manas. See, look at that. It's fine. Your, your head is absolutely enormous. In fact, <laughs> on a normal size head, that would be a full head of hair. <laughs> It's quite in context how big it is, Dara. It has its own gravitational field. It's pulled in an entire planet behind it. <laughs> was straight when we started. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting sympathy. That's why I introduced this. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. What I did was I said what something about... I revealed a weakness in front of six comedians, <laughs> and I thought, there's a group that'll help me through this. <laughs> I, I think of you all as friends. I don't think of you as comedians. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one of the women interviewed from the site and she said, putting a traveller in a house is like putting a traveller in a prison. But yet they're building them. <laughs> you put a traveller in a lodge. <laughs> yeah. What is that character? <laughs> Sounds like one of the terror hawks. <laughs> He's You've mysterious. gone through so many different countries with an accent as well. <laughs> Welsh, French. What do you think? Did you hear the woman? She went, I put a curse on you, I put a curse. She did. They're always giving it the curse. She did. The minute it kicks off, I put a curse.
show you. Oh, in that case, we'll leave it there. You stay where you are. Now, everybody watching this has got their remote control going, there's something wrong with the sound. The answer is chickens, nurses and rain. What is the question? Is it, what does Heston Blumenthal put in a trifle? <laughs> is it, name three things. <laughs> <laughs> is it, what are the most used sound effects in the radio drama <laughs> Monsoon <laughs> Poultry Hospital? <laughs> For the chickens! Yeah. <laughs> Why are all the actors yeah. Scottish in <laughs> Monsoon Poultry Hospital? Yeah. Is it? Doctor, uh, doctor, I think this chicken is drowning! <laughs> is it all the things that my gran says are stealing her money when I go and visit her in the car? <laughs> is it? Okay. Is it? Right, okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? What are the opening stage directions <laughs> in the television drama? <laughs> Monsoon Poultry Hospital. <laughs> Chickens, nurses, rain, a man walks through the fog. <laughs> what is the hospital I'm working in now, is it? <laughs> what was the name of Foghorn Leghorn's controversial early career porn film? <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to do more chicken next <laughs> hospital. Clear Bark! Clear Bark! Clear Bark! We've lost him. Uh, we've lost him. <laughs> That's finishing off the chicken at the end. Doctor, get me the beaster. <laughs> so, and, and Phil, we just, so I'm part of a film investment scheme. I put all my savings into the big budget production of Monsoon Poultry Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's right. Well, well, you're involved as well. I mean, because I play the role of Morag the nurse. <laughs> uh, Monsoon Poultry Hospital. And We're going to make a lot of money back. It's uh, yeah, it's me and Does you uh, are yeah. involved. Yeah. Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's nice to know well. where the budget for this show goes. I want to know, by the way, how well I look as a nurse. Uh, <laughs> Surprisingly fitting. Big shoulders. You've got, uh, you've got a hint to the readers' wives about no, you. Yeah. Yeah. If you. If you turned up at my bed in yeah. a hospital, <laughs> I'd <laughs> discharge myself. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have no surprise, no doubt. You'd discharge yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 Um, my favourite Olympic torch story, by the way, is this week the Olympic torch was brought on the raft to the slalom course. What brilliant plan is this? Right, one second later. There's the Olympic torch! What's, what's, what's weird about the Olympic torch, though, is it's having this incredibly exciting time. It's been on a zip wire in Newcastle, it's been sailing, it's been white water rafting. It's like it's got some sort of deal with a Make-A-Wish Foundation. <laughs> 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 it's like uh, it's as if it's sort of somebody's stag do or something, isn't it, taking the Olympic torch, white water rafting? I'm amazed it wasn't left in the booth of a lap dancing club or something like that. <laughs> I've so many of my umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favourite story during the week of the procession of the torch and the endless procession of the torch uh, is Jill Mackinson Sanders, who's the mayor of a town called Loudoun, Lincolnshire, who decided, as the torch was passing through her town, <clears throat> to dress up as one of the local products of the town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire. The town of Loudoun, Lincolnshire, apparently, is famous for its sausages. Here's how she tried to dress up to welcome the torch. <laughs> And she ran alongside the torch, <laughs> ran alongside it as a giant penis <laughs> down the street screaming. It's not you. It, it does not look like me. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, nothing in my face. My okay. arms do not start above my chin. <laughs> I'll let's be. No, let's for the hundredth program and the first time we've been heckled yes. by the audience. <laughs> You, you look, look like, like a, a penis giant sausage. Penis, <laughs> do you want to, do you, want to can you, can you, you probably can do some clever directorial thing just to disprove oh, the fact that I look, it. you know, can be done. Lucy, just to scotch the rumours <laughs> that I look anything like a six foot tall <laughs> penis sausage. Oh, look, man. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> like that.
Somebody's got a new Twitter avatar. <laughs> I'm always really freaked out by Megabus. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you don't, it's not the, well, the weirdest thing in the world, the mega, nothing against the bus service itself, but when you drive, like you drive a lot of time on the motorway, going to gigs, like the back of the Megabus, when you're driving along, like whatever, for those of you who haven't had the pleasure, mm -hmm. that's, that, you could, there's times you just get hypnotized by that weird, <laughs> there are many things I've observed. Firstly, why does that man have such large breasts? Yes. <laughs> Staring at that man's breast, going, that is, that is insane. What kind of. Where can you go for one pound? I, I thought you'd have to come to this mega bus. There's, there's genuinely... an address I'll, there. I'll have to put plus a 50p booking fee as if people are going to yeah. go, well, that's a rip off. <laughs> I'm dealing with this for the entire, in my ear constantly, people are going, wear the hat, wear the hat, wear the hat, <laughs> wear the hat. Wear the hat. Be yeah, they gave me a yellow hat because they think I look like the mega bus guy. <laughs> That means that that man looks like a, a penis sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. They should call it penissausage.com. Oh, something yeah. else is already called. You're just penis. bringing this up to try and make everybody forget that you look like a penis sausage. <laughs> That's exactly what's going on here. Essential. You just look like a penis sausage in a yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Ownership of the joke now. <laughs> Somebody's got else. another new Twitter it's avatar. How's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that? Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. This is the your uncle bought you. Yeah. OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in a science documentary. But will they find a cure in time? The last hope for mankind lies with scientists here at the Laboratoire Garnier. <laughs> and as the sperm swim towards the eggs, it's hard not to think that I've ruined this fried breakfast. <laughs> When he walked into Shawshank, I knew he was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Have you got a wicked side? Then you're a prick. <laughs> Take two bottles into the shower. Not anymore, I've got a proper dildo. <laughs> With ABS, sat-nav and airbags, this may be the most advanced condom you ever buy. <laughs> cash for cash. Send us your cash in an envelope and we'll send it back, minus commission. Oh. Ash for cash. <laughs> Put your cremated relatives in an envelope. Got that bloated feeling. <laughs> My uncle had that, he was dead in a week. <laughs> Smash for cash! <laughs> Put in mashed potato <laughs> in an envelope! <laughs> Why have we got barbecues at low, low prices? Because the summer's been shit and no one's bought them. <laughs> At the Dogs Trust, we never put down a healthy dog. But the minute one coughs, it's in the Thames. <laughs> Do you suffer from unsightly chest hair? Should have gone to peck shavers. <laughs> Lynx, come on, virgins, wash your cocks. <laughs> Breen. We work 
so he doesn't have to. 